Hey there! Welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie. Today I wanted to talk about Milk Street's Cookish, uh, Throw It Together. This is by Christopher Kimball. I've been wanting to look through this for a bit because, I, I mean, I really like the cover. It's clean. I love the design and the pasta, obviously, is something I'm looking forward to. And being able to throw things together is something I really enjoy personally. So let's look at this. Um, we have in the table of contents, we have vegetables, beans and grains, pasta, seafood, chicken, pork, beef, and desserts. Um, one thing I noticed, which is kind of cool, so when you flip to the vegetables chapter, let me triple check, yes, yeah, so when you go to each big section, there's a page number on the side, so if you go to vegetables in the very beginning, they have listed even more content, and I, I kind of, my OCD in me really enjoys this a little bit because it kind of helps compart compartmentalize everything. So we've got recipes here, but we've got it all divided. So for vegetables, we have sh the shredded vegetable section, a low liquid boil section, skillet chard, seared and steamed green beans, and whole roasted cauliflower as your micro chapters, I guess. So I really enjoy that. Um, and it's clean and simple. So being able to throw, be able to have like a photo and the recipe all on one page is kind of phenomenal. So they really utilized this book. And I think they got a lot of recipes in here because of that. So, and they are really easy. So we've got start to finish this particular uh, celery and green salad with lemony vinaigrette. It only takes 25 minutes to make and it serves four. I like in the very beginning of each chapter, they have kind of what each recipe is uh, best with. So this is like great for seafood and grilled meats and you know, it's a salad. And then we've got in bold all of your um, ingredients you're gonna need. If, for instance, you do not have something on this list, you might be able to see, it's kind of hard. It has, for instance, grated zest and juice of one lemon, and then it has or lime. So if you just don't have it available, they give you good substitutes. And that's, I, I know I'm always on Google trying to find substitutes for things because I, I panic and I forgot something at the store. It's nice to see if you can actually use something on hand, maybe that you didn't even know about. So, like, you know, sometimes I panic about nuts. There's walnuts or hazelnuts you can use for this recipe. So this is just really cool. Really easy, interesting uh, way of dividing everything up and making it very approachable. And you can kind of do your meal pl planning accordingly. This sounds amazing. A harissa spiced cauliflower and almond soup. I'm going to make this <laughs> next week because this sounds so good. Um, yeah, I just think this is really great how they've divided this up. I think it's really clever. Um, yeah, we've got skillet chard, Brussels sprouts. Uh, Brussels sprouts are almost the whole chapter here. We've got even cauliflower, butter, butternut squash. There's so many things in here, different ways of using vegetables. That's just vegetables. Let's move on to something else. We've got beans and grains, and it's the same thing. So we've got your micro chapters right in the beginning. This is divided up into heat your beans and fried rice. And then we've got like little soups and stuff in the very beginning. So yeah, it's just very, very helpful and very good. Bacon and red wine braised kidney beans. Again, all of this is, a, you can see a bit of a picture, a little peek through of, of every recipe and all of the ingredients and, and the list is just straightforward. It's right there. And they don't require a whole lot of effort to, to make. This black bean stew with chorizo and roasted tomatoes only takes 25 minutes to make. Like these would be great weekday meals. Let's move on to pasta because who does not love pasta? Yum. And that's kind of the reason why I grabbed this cookbook in the first place. We have pesto pasta as a whole separate chapter and then one pot pasta. And this incor incorporates more than just 
Italian pasta. So I'm seeing in here a Korean style noodle soup with shrimp. There's a, um, let's see, I saw a miso walnut soba with bok choy. So we've got a whole host of different ways of using noodles. Couscous risotto with asparagus and penne with potatoes, prosciutto and blue cheese. I'm gonna have to get this cookbook. This looks a fantastic, oh man. Chili soy noodles with bok choy and peanuts. And then we also have noodles with zucchini and black bean sauce. Oh, I'm getting so hungry. Okay, this is fantastic. This is a great cookbook. I, I want to know how many actual recipes are provided because it just seems like so many. We've got the chicken section, and that includes a lot of different chapters. So seasoned under the skin, tray bakes, poaching, slashed. And remember, this is all supposed to be easy to throw together. I haven't seen a recipe in here that is more than 45 minutes. And most of them have only run 25 to, to 30 minutes, like with start to finish. And their serving sizes are really big, like four to six servings. I think that's fantastic and like really useful. Citrus cilantro chicken skewers, pan fried chicken and vegetable patties. Like these are only 20 minutes long. That's insane and so cool. This, yeah, I love this cookbook. I actually am going to go get this cookbook. Um, this came out, I think, like in 2019 or 2020. And I've just been waiting to see if I want to get, you know, a new cookbook. There's just so many out there. I like this. I like that it gives you alternatives. I like the cooking time. It's actually quite short. It looks like they utilize a lot of um, ingredients that are fresh and you know, it's it's quick and easy, but it's not unhealthy is what I'm, I guess, what I'm getting at. The photos are great. Um, there's not a whole lot to each recipe. So I it's almost like a dream come true. I'm kind of, you know, I'll be curious to see. I'm going to make some of these recipes later and see how it goes and, and see if I actually want to dedicate the money to it. But this looks great. I mean, it's Milk Street, so I, it's got to be... It's got to be great. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of cool things in here. Different, uh, different international cuisine. Uh, you know, there's unique stuff I've never seen before that I, yeah, I would love to try. There's things in here that I've been meaning to try that I haven't found a good recipe for yet. So this is just fan. This is great. I I really enjoy it. Uh, let me, um, let me finish off and do, let's see if I can find, I think they did say desserts are in here. There are desserts. Okay, so there are amazing desserts in here. Let's just show you guys a few of those because I have no self-control. So we have in the dessert section, it looks like uh, rice pudding as a section and then freeform tarts and then a whole bunch of other desserts along, you know, along with it. Again, very beautiful photography, citrus and spice, strawberry compote, yogurt, panna cotta with honey and turmeric. Ooh, that looks good. Um, rice pudding is another fantastic, easy f dish you can make for your family and friends. This is a charred pineapple with spiced honey and coconut ice cream. Super tasty. Um, and then finally, let's look at some of the dry bakes, uh, miso spiced rum bananas foster, and then semi freddo with mandarin oranges and biscuits. Very cool. Yeah, this is a cool cookbook. I, I, I think I'm going to have to cook a few recipes out of here, and I, I think I might actually buy it because it's so easy. There's so many recipes in here. I mean, there's got to be at least over, over 200 recipes, I would say, in this cookbook, and they're very easy to throw together. That's the point. I love that. It's wonderful. Check out Cookish by Milk Street uh, by Christopher Kimball. Let us know how that goes. Make sure to comment down below, subscribe, uh, and let us know how we're doing. For more cookbook content, come check out our website at cookbookdivas.com. Also, join us on our uh, social media pages at um, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest at cookbook, uh, cookbook Divas. We, we sometimes try to do virtual classes. We try to post all kinds of articles. So definitely come over there. We also do a podcast every Friday. We try to do weekly cookbook roundups so that you guys know what new cookbooks are coming out that week, hopefully. 
especially with the holidays coming up, it's going to be crazy. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and have a great week.